One night, I was driving home from work. It was getting really dark outside. I couldn't see very much until I realized something rolled under my car. I had to keep driving because my dad was getting mad. But as I was driving home, I felt really bad. So I went back to the scene. And as I got to the scene, I looked out my window and realized it was a rabbit. A rabbit that was dead. And so I got back in my car and looked again. And then the rabbit was freaking moving. So I went up to the rabbit and took a little, another look. And then I looked and said, oh my gosh, it's not a freaking rabbit. It's a cat. I took her in my car. And so I took her to the vet. And that's when he told me she wasn't going to make it. He said I should put her down. He said, don't even bother She's not going to live. And I said, just give me my cat back. I'm going to give her a second chance. And so I took her to my home where I was not allowed a cat. So I snuck her into my room and fed her from a syringe. She wouldn't even move. <laughs> I had to teach her how to pee. She had a bunch of fleas. My mom was going to kill me. I just knew it. So I decided to give it a week. And so I waited and waited. And eventually, she started using the restroom on her own. And eventually, two weeks freaking later, she was stronger than ever. <sighs> then I had to realize, I had to tell my mom that I had a cat. 